My name is Kathy Pham, and I am a Harvard Berkman Klein Fellow for the 2017-2018 year. Having worked with both with um, a large tech company as well as within the federal government, I, I constantly think about how do we build products that are responsible and ethical and take into account our users. Another focus is the intersection of government and technology. How do we get policy folks um, interested in, but also understanding technology, as well as getting technologists, whether they're engineers or product managers or designers, um, interested in public service or working in, in the federal government. In my early days as a software engineer, the topics around users and the user experience of something, or even the, the broader social impact of what we build wasn't always there either. One of the things that have come up here at at Berkman is attacking it from the curricula level of really teaching our computer scientists and engineers how to critically think about the effects in the long term or even short term effects of what we build. Um, think about um, some of the implications of collecting data. Think about what happens when the data is stored long term. Think about um, how something can be misused or not used the way we intended it for it to be used. What can we do in the policy space that makes sense? Um, you know, it gets tricky because we, we get into the free speech realm where we don't want to restrict um, the ability to build products or people's freedom of speech on different platforms. But what is the responsibility of tech companies in, in looking at their users? How can we use technology to really provide better government services for people, people who can't go to um, in person to different government service locations to get care, whether they're veterans or people who need to get services. How can we use technology to really make their lives a lot better? So I constantly think I'm, I'm very excited about different ways that technology can be used to provide care and services to maybe our most vulnerable populations or people who um, need help the most.